Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Encounter this error on your iPhone? In this video, I will walk you through several effective troubleshooting steps to help you resolve this error and regain access to your Apple ID. Let's go. If you encounter the verification failed, this Apple ID is not active error on your iPhone. This typically means that your Apple ID has been deactivated or there are issues with Apple servers. Here are steps you can take to try and resolve this issue. Make sure your iPhone is connected to a stable Wi-Fi network or cellular data. To check, go to the device's settings and then Wi-Fi. A poor internet connection can sometimes prevent Apple ID verification. Also, ensure that your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. If the iOS version installed on your device is outdated, it can affect your device's features. Aside from that, iOS updates usually include regular bug fixes and security patches, so it's a good idea to keep your iPhone updated. To check for a new iOS version, open Settings on your iPhone, navigate to General, and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. Also bear in mind that some older iPhone models are not able to install the latest software updates. To check if your device is compatible, click the tag in the upper right corner. A simple restart can sometimes resolve temporary glitches. Keep in mind though that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID, such as iPhone 10, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side button simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6s or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. Afterward, visit the Apple System Status page to check if any of Apple's services are down or experiencing issues. You can click the tagged link above or in the description below. If the iCloud or Apple ID services are down, you may need to wait until they are back online. If it's green, it means that all services are operating normally. This is a good sign, indicating that there are no issues or outages with Apple services at that time. Another troubleshooting could be resetting your password. To do this, go to the Apple ID Forgot Password on your browser. Click on the Reset Password button and follow the instructions. After resetting your password, try signing in again on your iPhone. If possible, try logging into your Apple ID from another Apple device, like a Mac or iPad, to see if the problem persists. If the above steps don't work, your Apple ID might be deactivated or blocked by Apple for security reasons. This will be your best resource for further troubleshooting and resolution. To contact them online, Open your browser and visit supportapple.com on your iPhone or computer. From the dashboard, browse to the Get Support section and click Start Now for more personalized support. Sign in with your Apple ID and follow the on-screen instructions to start your request. That's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!